Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. We are on Nanami and Heishi's route. And it's proving to be a very amusing one at that. I hope they continue to keep being funny because, oh, they, we have had some interesting hijinks in here so far. So, um, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. An argument with Hay, really? Yep. Uh, did he do something? I mean, I'm sure he did, but still, I'm sure he didn't mean anything by it. So, are you saying that people can do anything, so long as there's no ill will behind it? Well, that's not what I'm trying to say. I could see this day coming a mile away. That idiot is insensitive and thinks he can get away with anything, so long as he keeps smiling. I beg to differ. I don't think he believes that he can get away with things at all. It's just that, you know, he's still a kid. Heishi is already 19! In fact, he is a year older than I am. He's 19, really? Why do you take his side without knowing any details? Maybe this is why his actions are only getting worse and worse. Yeah, yeah, you're always right. This definitely proves that she's still holding a grudge about that time. That time... I haven't forgotten about the muttering that Kagami had done that time. It was from an incident when Otomaru came to visit my room. Mikoto, I'll head over first. I shall join you once I finish changing. Oh, I shall lock my door. Hey, Mikoto, I gotta talk to you about something. Huh? W wait a minute. Sorry! Uh, wow, you scared me! I didn't expect that you would be changing at all. Now that I've seen Mikoto's undergarments, Mikoto's... No, Saki is gonna kill me! This is bad! Uh, I didn't see anything! Nothing! Nothing at all! And like, it was only for a moment anyways, I barely had time to see the color! Oh good lord, he just broadcast that to everybody? <laughs> Ah, Mikoto, S sorry about earlier, but I, I didn't see any... Ah! Hey, Itsuki, are you even listening? Yes, I am. Um... Okay, okay, I'll handle the scolding. Lay it on me, Nanami, what happened? Otomaru didn't do anything wrong. It was all my fault. Huh? Really? No way! You are not actually going to cover for his actions, too. I'm not covering for him. It was my fault. I said something unnecessary. Nanami? Nanami? So you're saying... Hey! What are y'all doing? Akito just made a pie out of all the peaches Koharu and them gathered. Let's all go eat them together. You need to work on your timing, man. Hmm? What's that now? I shall pass. An extreme imbalance of sugars will lead to obesity. What do you mean, obesity? There's not an ounce of fat on you. I... Before Otomaru could get the next word out, Kagami forcefully covered his mouth. Uh, hey, why don't we have some quiet time now? I'd be the one who took the hit for whatever inappropriate thing you were about to say. <laughs> Please excuse us, we have stuff to do. Um, okay, catch you later then. Hey, she does not seem angry at all. Maybe you are being overly sensitive. As Mikoto so directly pointed out, Otomaru seemed totally fine. He was in his usual good mood, complete with his standard smile. But... Let's say I did suspect you. Once I do, you'd sense my feelings, right? Then everyone would just get all sad because they know I suspect them. And that's why it's impossible for me to suspect people. I can never do it. It's better if I just get betrayed.
If Otomaru doesn't hold suspicions against other people because he's being thoughtful, that must mean Otomaru is... Nanami? Well, I'm not sure what's going on between you two, but are you telling everything you need, Dehei? Yes, that's what ended up angering him. Hmm, I see. Let me try rephrasing that. Do you think what you're trying to express to him is actually getting through to him? Just because you... Just because you told him your feelings doesn't mean he'd actually understand everything. You need to make sure he gets it. Itsuki, enough dawdling! We still have not found any leads on the traitor yet. Okay, okay. See you later. Hey, was it bad that I came over here? Not at all. I see. I feel a lot of anxiousness and gloom coming from Otomoru. Is this all my fault? Yeah, let's address the issue about yesterday. Um, Otomoru, about yesterday. Hmm? What? Yesterday. Yesterday you petted my head. Huh? Y yeah, I did. You aren't going to pet me today. So you want to make this a regular thing, huh? I will! I will, yes! Immediately, Otomaru placed one of his hands upon my head. And then he patted it gently. Put it into words until he gets it. That's impossible for me. I'm glad. I was worried that you hated me or something like that. Why would I hate him? Man, now I'm relieved. I got hungry. I wonder if there's anything to eat. Otomaru, let's go eat that pie Shukuri made. Huh? Ah, y yeah! Let's go to the dining hall. Yeah. With that temporarily resolved, we went off to eat Shukuri's delicious peach pie. We were so inspired by it that we started to cook, at which point Shukuri yelled at us, and that's how the day ended. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I want to collapse into bed. Come to think of it, I'm supposed to be sharing the room with Mikoto today. I wonder why she isn't back yet. Well, she didn't wonder very long. Welcome back. Thanks. Mikoto was angry. When I peeked over, Mikoto was lying face down with her head buried into her pillow. From where I sat, it looked like she was feeling quite miserable. I cannot fathom how you can get along with that guy. That guy? You mean Heishi? Heishi too, but I was referring to Itsuki. Why does he insist on touching me so much? Does he really think his stupid pickup lines are working on me? I feel like he thinks I'm an idiot. I definitely agree that Kagami has a very flirty side to him, but I think under all that he's a kind person. Kagami is meddlesome. Whenever he sees an opportunity to needle someone, he can't help himself. He never expresses his goodwill up front. He's always got his bad boy facade on, and because of that, people tend to dislike him. Although I sometimes get confused about which version of Kagami is the real one. There's no way you didn't notice his kindness at all, considering that you're the type of person who'd get close to someone like me. Well, his kindness... Well, his kindness is pretty cheap, then, if he is giving it away to everyone. Huh? You don't want Kagami to be kind to anyone else besides you. I... I never said that! Mikoto raised her face. Her cheeks were slightly red. That's what I'm hearing. You're saying that you don't like that he gives his kindness to everyone. <laughs> I cannot tell what he is thinking. That is what bothers me. Whenever I am struggling with something, he just laughs. I wonder what he is like when he feels miserable or depressed. I have no idea either. 
I apologize. This is not the type of thing that I should have brought up at this late an hour. It's okay. Kagami, when he's miserable or depressed, I honestly can't imagine it. What about Otomoru? People aren't always just having a super great time. After all this time aboard, I still only know a little about both Kagami and Otomoru. For a moment, I recall Koharu's words. It is amazing how well you three get along. I wouldn't call this getting along. And so I figured that it'd be good to have a discussion group. Yoiga gathered everyone together one day to suggest this idea to them. Wow, I think it's a great idea. I agree, there's no harm in everyone getting to know each other better. I think it's great too! While most everyone wanted to go along with it, Nijo and Ichinose declined to participate in the idea. Oh, pass. What? Why? Oh, I'm not fond of large meetings. Don't like it when there's a lot of people around, huh? I don't like the idea either. Please get to know people other than myself. I knew there'd be people who resisted. I feel like we shouldn't go through with this plan unless everyone participates. It'd be dangerous if the traitor made a move while we're all occupied. You might be right. I guess we'll table this for now. Hold it! Oh <laughs> jeez, you mean like everybody jump. <laughs> what is it? Why are you just shouting out of the blue? I just thought of a great idea! Whatever you consider a great idea is something I'm diametrically opposed to. I'll be returning to my room now. Wait a minute! Just at least hear me out. I thought of a game that'll get everyone closer. Right, Nanami? Why drag me into this? Oh... Uh, of course he wants the scary maze. <laughs> but come to think of it, I do recall Otomoru saying something earlier. A scary maze. Yes, that! So you remembered! Of course I did. We got into an argument after that. A scary maze. I see. People would break off to go through their various sections of the maze, so we wouldn't be all crowded together. If anything, it might be more fun to move with a smaller group like your team or partner. Right! Kakeru gets it! Really? A scary maze? You do know there is still a traitor in our midst. We cannot just waste time playing these foolish games. I agree. Besides, we're on a ship. Aren't scary mazes usually done at graveyards or something? It wouldn't be any fun to do it here. I see. So, some of you still haven't heard about the tragic incident that occurred on this ship before you got on. Huh? What are you... Before you all came aboard, there actually used to be five more espers here. What? Oh, come on, don't tell me you guys are falling for this. However, one person who was too distraught from being apart from their family and friends hanged himself here. Th there is no way. That never happened. It was before you were here. Are you certain it never happened? Being torn from your family and friends, feeling so overcome with sadness that you opted for death, it doesn't seem all that far-fetched to me. I got pretty choked up over it when it happened, but I realized I couldn't just stay sad forever. Well, well, why not? Because after the first one, another, then another followed along. <laughs> These black coats that we got from the world, they're probably actually intended to be used as mourning garments. Maybe if we keep having so much fun, they'd get angry and show themselves to us. <laughs> what was that sound just now? I heard it too. It could be them, trying to tell us something. Th them? The people who passed away? Ah, you and your stupid crap! Y yeah, <laughs> they're shaking in fear. <laughs> y 
Yeah, th there is no way there are ghosts being harbored on this ship. Hmm, so you two don't believe me? Of course not! Really? You two look pretty pale right now. No, I don't! I see, I see. If that's the case, then this scary maze should be pretty fun for you two. I mean, since you're not scared and all. We'll make it a fun one, so please be sure to participate. If Mikoto participates, that means Sakuya will play along too. As for the rest... Oh yeah! This is getting exciting! So, because we have to keep an eye on everyone, let's say Heishi cooks for whoever... Oh no! Heishi cooks for whoever isn't participating in the scary maze. What the? You make it sound like eating my cooking as a punishment! Nonsense! I'm just trying to foster the cooperation amongst everyone. I believe that people who aren't cooperative by nature can be positively affected by interacting with someone like Heishi, who is brimming with cooperative spirit. Hmm, I don't really understand, but so long as we all get to play together, I'm fine. I'm ready to make food for you guys, whether it be for a week or even a month. <laughs> They've all been blackmailed into this. He is seriously terrifying. And with that, it was decided that we're actually going through with the scary maze. The scarers, under the full support of the Hyokos, are Yuiga, Otomoru, Suzuhara, and myself. How did I get dragged into this? We're going to have a discussion about our plans now, so could everyone go outside? I'll notify everyone once we have a date set. Nanami, I leave Kakaru and Heishi to you. That's quite a burden for me. Although there's the four of us now, the group doesn't feel any larger by having Yuiga with us. I don't know how you guys decided to do something as childish as a scary maze. So what exactly are we doing? Nothing too crazy. First we'll obviously use the Hyoko on a <laughs> First we'll obviously use the Hyoko on Akito. Oh yeah. Is the use of fire prohibited on this ship, Hyoko? like Sid from Final Fantasy! What the heck is... <laughs> oh my goodness, Captain Hyoko. Oh, this, this story is chirping me out. What? Of course we can't use fire in here. Everything is made of wood. I see. That limits us a bit. I hope this doesn't kill everyone. As a result of arguing for days, we've pretty much gone through all possible options. Yuiga and Suzuhara will handle all of the props for us. Otomoru and I decide to scout the ship to set the maze route. So, I'll start from the first floor. Oh, but it isn't very dark down here. I think we can just keep it at the second and third floors. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain to decorate. You might be right. It might be because Yuiga and Suzuhara were with us. But it felt like it had been a while since Otomoru and I were alone together. This might be the best chance to apologize. To actually say what I truly wanted to express to him. It's not like I wanted him to suspect me, nor did I want to burden Otomoru, who likes to have faith in everyone. The sound of my heartbeat is getting noisy. I don't know why, but I felt extremely nervous all of a sudden. I'm just going to come out and apologize. That's all there is to it. And yet, I can't even open my mouth. Otomoru is a kind person. There's no way he would refuse to accept my apology. But I had learned something about him. That deep down, Otomoru had been bearing everything. It's not that Otomoru was oblivious to everything. It's that he discarded his cautiousness because people would sense his suspicion, cautiousness, everything. Otomaru, he must be saying that he doesn't want to suspect anyone because he's nicer than anyone. He must be saying that he doesn't mind getting deceived because he's stronger than everyone. And for that reason, I'm terrified of being the one to hurt this person. If I'm going to apologize, I need to use the right words so I don't screw it up and end up hurting him instead. I keep repeating the words in my heart, 
but each time I do so, my confidence deteriorated further. What's wrong? Nanami? It, it's nothing. Oh, it's Ron. That's unusual that you're actually awake and not napping somewhere. Uh, what are you puppies doing? We're setting up the scary maze. Scary maze? Oh, what's that? We talked about it last time. We're going to do a scary maze on the ship. We're on the scarers team. Hmm, I see. Good luck with that. Yeah. He acted like it wasn't going to concern him. I wonder if he knows that he's participating. I wonder. He'd probably just forget. So we'll probably have to drag him along the day of. That sounds about right. Actually, that sounds like what Heishi would do is forget. <laughs> hey, you've been thinking about things an awful lot lately, haven't you? What are you so concerned about? Did something bad happen? It makes me worried when I see you like this. Hey, what's wrong? Is it something you can't talk about with me? That's not it. Then what is it? I need to use the right words. What are the right words? Am I even capable of finding them? It was a lot of fun for me to be partnered up with Otomoru. It was easy on me since I didn't have to be concerned about him. But all of that is in the past now. Every time Otomoru is nice to me, I start to panic. I'm not really sure why that happens. When I try to say something, I just freeze up because I'm scared that I might anger him the way I did the last time. If I ever said any of this to him, all that would do is trouble Otomoru. What should I... Let's see... We should probably tell him what we're thinking about. I mean, tell him that we're thinking about him, that would make him happy. I've been thinking about you. About me? Why? I'm not too sure. We're kind of strange, huh? We're with each other right now, but we're still thinking about each other too. So, I didn't express myself after all. We're done with the scary maze preparation for today. After saying that, Otomuru turned his back to me and walked off. I don't sense any emotions coming from Otomoru at all. Silent, painless, now that I've discovered what Otomoru is dealing with, I've learned something new about myself. Apparently, I'm very afraid of angering Otomoru. Maybe because I'm so used to seeing him smile, it might be because I've taken his kindness for granted. There's never been a person like Otomoru around in my life before. They were all people who wanted to use me for my power, but he's different. Once you discover one thing, you start to see other things that are linked together. The reason I get flustered when I'm with Otomoru is that I can't give anything to him. Even if he smiles at me in a friendly manner, pays me kind compliments, and shows me a great time, I don't know how to smile. I can't even speak to him well. I'm just a boring human being. That's why I get flustered and anxious. I'm worried because I keep taking from him, but I can never give anything worthwhile back. There was another perfect example just now. I screwed up again. Hey, what are you doing, Nanami? Huh? Let's go already. If Kakeru finds us, he's gonna tell us to stop being lazy again. Go where? The roof! Ah, it's another beautiful day today! Otomaru stretched out and rolled over to where the most sunlight was shining down. Why the roof? Hmm? Because it feels good here, and though I used to never come up here because I was too lazy to climb the stairs. Unlike the third floor, this place is pretty, with all the flowers growing. I think this is my spot on the ship. Maybe if you do your thinking up here, your worries will get resolved too. What do you usually do to solve something that you have no idea about? Something I have no idea about? Uh, can you give me an example? What should I say? 
Being with Otomaru is relaxing, but at the same time I also get flustered. I wonder what I should do. I'd rather not stay this way forever, but I just can't come up with any solutions. Now I'm worried that maybe there simply aren't any solutions to my problem. If I tell Otomaru that I get flustered when I'm with him, it might make him uncomfortable. He's so kind that it could be an insult to him. This is my problem. I shouldn't say this to Otomaru when I'm not entirely sure what is happening to me. What's wrong, Nanami? It's nothing. Sorry I said something so weird. I'm not entirely sure, but would you say that sometimes you feel like your emotions get twisted when they're put into words? Like, do you ever have situations where you never intended to say the things you did? Or like, you never know the right words to say? Yes, I'm always in those situations. It wasn't like I was trying to make Otomaru sad or depressed. I was just thinking how I could get Otomaru to be more careful given the danger we're in. And yet, the words that spilled out of my mouth were things that undermined my relationship with him. All because I'm terrible at speaking. I just blurted out something completely unnecessary. Explaining your feelings to another person is a really difficult task, you know? I can't imagine you having the same problem, though. Otomaru is nothing like me. Everyone likes him because he's always cheerful and bright, because he's a lot of fun to be around. Plus, he has a power he's not ashamed of, since he's always friendly with everyone else, everyone naturally tends to like him back. Unlike me. Of course I do! But, with your power, you can express your feelings to other people without even having to put them into words. Well, that is true. Even when I was young, I started communicating to people without having to rely on words. They nagged me a lot because they could tell when I was angry or sad, even if I didn't say anything. And so, I was just this super selfish baby who cried all the time to get mommy to help me. I was such a pain in the ass as a kid. So, this was all fine when I was a child, but when I got older, I had more and more problems with it. Problems, as in... My parents disowned me! What? Are you still smiling? It was all my fault anyway, so I've never held a grudge against them or anything. I probably would have stayed the way I was as a kid if they hadn't disowned me. And so, this disowned orphan kid was picked up by a troop of traveling performers. I was told that he who does not work, neither should he eat. So, I had to develop some type of talent. So, I learned this. As he said that, Otomaru pulled out what looked like a flute. It was a very plain instrument that had no decorations whatsoever. It's called a shinobue. I used to play it alongside the beat of the taiko drums during festivals. You play the flute. It doesn't really match your image. What are you trying to say? I'll have you know I was the best flute player in the entire troupe. When I get overly excited and feel like I'm about to harm others, I try to play this flute to relax. To get your mind off things. Hmm, <clears throat> it's a bit different than that. When I play the flute, all my worked up emotions are turned into sounds. They become notes and resonate far away. Otomaru slowly put his mouth to his flute. He sounded a clear and peaceful tone, almost like the wind blowing through the plains. For a second, I thought I'd seen the horizon appear behind Otomaru. The truly important thing won't reach people if you're just hurling your emotions at them. You need to put them into words they're able to understand. You need to have them as pure and as true as possible, like the sound of the flute. I'm not trying to tell you to play the flute or anything, but you should try and speak your mind, Nanami. Obviously, you're worried about being embarrassed or misunderstood, but nothing's gonna change until you try to put your feelings into words, you know? What's important is to convey your feelings all the way through until the end. Convey until the end. That was similar to what Kagami said earlier. Now Otomaru is telling me this time. I'm not the traitor. Nanami? 
But there's no doubt that there is a traitor on this ship. And for that reason, I want you to be more careful so you don't get hurt. Suspecting other people and possibly hating them might be a difficult thing for this guy to do. But I don't want Otomoru to be harmed. I might have said something unnecessary again. It might be something that was only important to me and something totally useless to Otomoru. But still, this is what I've been wanting to tell him. Although I'm not sure that I was able to convey it well. I didn't know what you were going to tell me. But you must have been really worried about me back then, huh? Yeah. I see. Thank you. Also, I'm sorry I misunderstood you before. You shouldn't have to apologize. It was my fault for not conveying it properly. Nah, it's because I stopped listening to you midway through. This is just how I am, you know. I'm just constantly trying to hold back my feelings of anger and sadness. I know. Huh? Did I tell you that before? If you suspect someone, that would be detected by another person. Obviously, you would end up hurting that person's feelings. Therefore, you choose not to suspect people. You'd rather that you get hurt yourself, as opposed to hurting other people. Ah, I somewhat remember saying something like that, and yet somewhat don't. But, okay, I guess I did. Well, I'm surprised you remembered that, though. I already even kind of forgot about it. There's no way I'd forget that, because it's something about you. Was that too short to express my feelings? I've never met someone like you in my life. That's why I remember things about you extra vividly. Uh, oh, that's what you meant. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you absolutely don't hate me, right? I wouldn't hate you. Are you sure? Yes. And I want you to say it too, so you don't feel like you have to throw away all your anger, angry or sad emotions. But then, don't you not want to hear things like that, especially in my case? I do want to hear it, unless you tell me I'd never be able to figure out what you get angry or sad about. I think I'd hate that the most. I now clearly understand what Mikoto was saying to me earlier. You truly feel terrible when you can't figure out what is causing someone to suffer. Perhaps, perhaps what Kagami is to Mikoto and what Otomaru is to myself are similar types of relationships. I get what you're trying to say now. Uh, thank you. Why is he thanking me? I can sense Otomaru's feelings through the sounds. Happiness, relief, and euphoria. I don't fully see them as shapes, but I can definitely sense some kindness and goodwill as well. Up until that point, I'd never known that a person's smile could physically become something so big. I feel absolutely at ease when I look at Otomaru's smile. This would probably still be true even if he didn't have his telepathy power. He smiles at me even though I've just been used by terrible people even though I've taken precious things from people. All I do is receive from Otomaru. That's why I feel flustered. I want to do something for this person. That feeling keeps building. Although I'm not sure if there's even anything I can do for him. It'd be easy if it were gifts. I'd just give him back something of equal value. But he didn't give me a physical gift, so I can't just give Otomaru one back. So what am I supposed to do? And this is where we're going to end our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in some of my future videos. I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.